It is God who arms me with his strength, hallelujah, and makes my way perfect. God arms his believer with his strength. When we are weak, when we feel defeated, hallelujah, when we feel discouraged, when we feel like we're not adding up, he makes our way perfect. For when we are weak, he is already in a dwelling, hallelujah, as the Holy Spirit. He's already in a dwelling, trying to figure out what to do is not his problem. He already knows just what to do and what's wrong on the inside. He already is on the job. He's a doctor in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. It's the Holy Ghost, the keeper of the city of our soul, who discerns the mind of God for the believer. So we don't walk out of step, and we don't come outside of the alignment of the cloth, of the calling, of the Holy Spirit, of Christianity, of religion. We have to walk according to the words of God. We find these truths to be self-evident that if we walk with God, that God will walk with us. We know that he orders our steps and he delights in our way. Hallelujah. It is God's desire that we walk training steps that are ordered by the word and led by the spirit of God. It is God's desire that we do not step out of his will, that we do not step out of his mannerisms. We have to walk close with God. We want the Lord to walk with us. The song says, walk with me, Lord, walk with me. Why I am on this Christian journey. I want Jesus to walk with me. Hold my hand, Lord. Hold my hand. I want Jesus to hold my hand. While I am on this Christian journey, I want Jesus to hold, hold my hand. We have to keep our hand in God's unchanging hand. We need Jesus to lead the way. Hallelujah. We need Jesus to instruct us and guide us through the Holy Spirit. We have to have a made up mind. Hallelujah. We have to have our mind equipped with the helmet of salvation. We have to wear it at all times. We have to keep it on our head and strapped under our chin. Hallelujah. We have to be girded up in the word of God. We have to stay humble. And we have to have a broken and contrite heart. We have to stay on the pottery wheel. We have to ask God daily, Lord, make me all over again. When we find ourselves becoming arrogant, hallelujah. When we find ourselves not lining up with the word of God. Um, when we find ourselves um, not being able to love like God has instructed in his word. When we find ourselves coming out of the will of God and not acting in his attributes. Hallelujah. We have to get down on our knees and take our time. Again and again and again and again and again and again with God. This is serious. This is serious and it is not a game. This walk that we are walking, this Christian walk, this life that we are living, that we have to dedicate our mind, our body, our soul, our speech, everything that we are to God. 
For it is in God that we live, move, and have our being. We are put here to serve God. We are put here to worship God. We have to do just what the word of God says. In all sobriety, we have to know that this is serious. We have to know that time is winding up. Jesus is coming back for his bride, the church. We have to be prepared and have oil in our labyrinth. For suddenly, suddenly, we shall be changed. Behold, we shall not all sleep. In the twinkling of an eye, we shall change from mortal to immortality. We shall be changed. We have to have this mind. Put on the mind of Christ. Put on the mind of Christ. Take off the mind of the world and the riots and the mind of sin. That causes us to be led into temptation and direst straits that are unlike God. Straits are strong holding straps of sin. That desire for us to be tangled and wrapped outside of the will of God. We have to remain grafted and stay inside. Hallelujah. The Ezekiel offense. We know that God, he's a will inside of a will. He's encouragement inside of encouragement. He's hope inside of hope. Hallelujah. We find this truth to be self-evidence that down through the years, Every day that we woke up to see a brand new day, every breath that we take, it is all because of the goodness of God. It is all because God has blessed us to live and not die. He knows his creation is not perfect and God is continually Nudging us and tapping us on the shoulder. The Holy Ghost has to continue usually nudge us to tell us, get back up, get back up, get that back straightened out with God. Don't leave it there in a mess. Pick it back up and tell God you're sorry. Tell God you repent. Tell God I've fallen short, Father. My father who art in heaven, I've fallen short. I thought I had it all under control and I messed this all up again. God is able. He's able to correct your footsteps that you go right back into the right path, running right back to God. Hallelujah. Be blessed.